So today we are going to discuss the electrocardiogram or ECG. We will discuss a very basics and simple concepts of the ECG for the beginners. If you already know much about the ECG or the electrocardiogram, then you do not need to watch this video or you can uh, just uh, quit this video. So in the next few uh, series of lectures, we will be discussing the cardiac cycle and which simply means how the heart starts pumping and pump the blood to the whole uh, body and then the blood returns to the heart and then it pumps it again. So that heart, uh, that complete cycle is known as the cardiac cycle. But before going to discuss, uh, dis to, to discuss the cardiac cycle in detail, we need to know the electrocardiogram and we just need simple concepts of the ECG or the electrocardiogram, we are not going to, into detail. So what is ECG or electrocardiogram? It's also known as uh, EKG sometimes. So ECG is um, nothing but the recording of the depolarization and the repolarization process of the heart. In the uh, last few lectures, uh, we discussed uh, that the heart itself is made of four chambers, two atria and uh, two ventricles right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. The cardiac cycle uh, starts with the in, uh, flow of blood into the uh, right and left atrium, then uh, the pumping or the contraction of the right and left atrium and pushing the blood into the ventricles. The right atrium, uh, the right ventricle then push the blood into the lungs and it gets deoxygenated deoxy and the oxygenated blood basically returns to the left atrium it pumps the blood into the left ventricle and the left ventricle then pumps the blood into the whole body the body utilizes the oxygen in the blood and it gets deoxygenated it returns to the heart into the right atrium from the right atrium it comes again into the right ventricle and the whole process is basically repeated again and again 24 7 and throughout the life Basically, the, the blood is basically coming into the right atrium and right ventricle at the same time. So two different cycles or two different circuits, the right and the left circuit are operating simultaneously. One is uh, pumping the blood into the uh, lung and the other is pumping the blood into the body. That's the cardiac cycle. But how this uh, works? We previously discussed that in the cardiac, um, in the atrium, we have a node, the SA node or the sinoatrial node. This sinoatrial node or the SA node, it comes all the time, it sparks, it sends some sparks of a depolarization. It, send, uh, it sends some sparks of depolarization and it depolarizes the uh, right atria uh, the, and the left atria, basically both the atria. What basically is depolarization? Depolarization is nothing but the movement of positive and negative ions. Or it is just the movement of positive ion inward and outward. When more positive charge comes in, it is basically the depolarization and when the positive charge goes out, it is a repolarization. This is something which we have discussed in detail in few in the previous lectures. A lot of ions play a role and we um, know that basic mechanism is through the sodium, potassium and calcium ions. And this depolarization is basically at the level of cell membrane of the tissue of the heart, the cardiac muscles basically. So the cardiac muscle in itself if it is made of the cardiac cells and in the cardiac cells, the membrane of the cardiac cells, this activity is going on. And this activity of all the millions, billion cells of the atria and ventricle, when combined, it makes a whole depolarization process of the whole tissue, which can be recorded with the help of a machine. Suppose, for example, we in the human body, we have the heart here. And we apply a few leads. We have a machine here. From which a wire is coming. This wire has a lot of leads. This is a, these leads are put on the chest. Up to six leads are put on the chest and three leads on the limbs, on the 
one limb the upper limbs so when the leads are connected with the wire the wire is connected with the machine and this machine is switched on it will generate an activity which can be recorded on a screen or a paper like this this activity when recorded this electrical activity of the heart through which it is uh, causing contraction systole or di uh, diastole a relaxation of the heart this when recorded with the help of machine is known as electrocardiogram or ecg or sometimes ekg so what are the basic components of the ecg or electrocardiogram the first component of the ecg is a p wave it is a p wave so what is p wave when the excitation process starts it starts from the sa node sa node sparks its it signals a spark and the spark starts an electrical activity or electric current which initially spread into the atria so it initially spreads into the atria when the whole atria the right and the left atrium both or the atria gets depolarized the positive ions in the cells in the membranes of the cells that is making the whole at atria both the atria it gets depolarized it means positive charge moves into the cell this depolarization of the both the atria is recorded is p wave or the ecg but when the atria gets depolarized it will take some time to recover from this depolarization and when the positive charge will move out repolarization will occur but this repolarization will take a while will take it will happen after some time meanwhile the depolarization cannot come to the ventricles directly there will be a gap between the start of depolarization of the atria and the depolarization of the ventricles the depolarization of the ventricles will occur with the help of av node atrioventricular node this AV node will then depolarize the ventricle, but after a delay of zero point six seconds, from the start of the P wave to the start of the Q wave, which is the start of depolarization of the ventricles, there is a time duration of zero point six second, about half second. This zero point six seconds make sure it makes sure. that the atria both the atria they contract completely so the whole blood moves into the ventricles and the ventricles should not contract at that time it should wait so that they get filled with the blood so depolarization of the heart occurs this depolarization of the heart can be recorded with the help of a machine and it will be known as the p wave this p wave will be followed by small gap from the start of p wave to the start of q wave and this gap will be 0.6 second during this gap the atria will contract and will fill the ventricles when the ventricles are filled they start contracting these valves there are valves so basically the black color you see the black color this is a fibrous tissue it is a non conducting tissue it cannot conduct this electric a uh, electrical activity or depolarization process which started here it has reached through a specific pathway to the purkinje fibers and to the av node which is a conducting tissue which conducts the electric current but this fibrous tissue cannot conduct the electrical activity so it makes sure that atria contract completely and then the contraction of the ventricle starts when the contraction of the ventricle starts this contraction process or when the depolarization process of the ventricle starts this can be recorded with the help of another wave known as qrs waves so we have three waves qr q wave r wave and s wave also known as qrs complex qrs complex so initially the p wave is depolarization of the atria and then the qrs is the uh, the um, contraction or the systole of the ventricles when the depolarization of the ventricles is completed 
after some time after a delay of some time for example from the start of this wave to the start of this wave this this duration after this duration we have another wave known as the t wave in which this depolarization get reversed or repolarization occur repolarization of the ventricles occur it means the potassium ions has now moved out of the membranes the cells which are making the tissues of the cardiac muscles those cells the membrane of those cells has allowed the potassium to go out and has repolarized and that repolarization is recorded as the t wave when the atria had depolarized it was recorded as p waves but the repolarization process of the atria was when occurring at that specific time the machine was recording the qrs complex so the repolarization process of the atria could not be recorded because at that time this machine was recording the depolarization of the ventricles but when the repolarization of the ventricles was occurring there was nothing to be recorded so the machine could record the t wave the machine can only record one activity at a time and that should be a bigger activity if meanwhile a small activity is being occurring uh, this these are simple words in i am explaining this thing in a simple words otherwise ecg is a full uh, subject and it needs a lot of time it has a lot of um, problems and it can we can diagnose a lot of diseases with the help of ecg and we can treat as well a lot of conditions with the help of ecg but in simple words when the ecg machine is applied to the body it can record single activity so when depolarization is occurring atria in the atria no other activity is occurring it records this activity is p wave so one wave the first wave in the ecg is the p wave then after some time depolarization of the ventricle is occurring and at the same time repolarization of the atria is occurring so the machine it ignores the repolarization process of the atria and it instead records the qrs the depolarization process of the ventricles and after some times when this depolarization is gone then another wave occurs that is the repolarization process or the in the membrane allows the potassium ions and the positive ions move out and the negativity comes inside that is recorded as the t wave and after this t wave this p wave occur again and then qrs occur again and then t again and goes on goes on goes on so that's the ecg or the electrocardiogram cardiogram that's very very simple basic concept of the ecg that it consists of p wave that is depolarization of the atria it consists of the qrs complex which shows the depolarization of the ventricle and during the depolarization of the uh, ventricles the repolarization process of the atria gets ignored and after this qrs complex it records the t wave is which is basically the repolarization of the ventricles so that's all that's the basic concepts of the ecg and now at least you can know that ecg is the recording of the depolarization and repolarization of the heart thanks a lot for watching this small video